Archpriest Sergei Baranov On the Providence of God The Sermon after Sunday Liturgy Today's per church calendar we refer the memory of the 4th century ancient Greek martyr Eustratius. But we also have our Russian venerable monk and martyr Estratius, who lived in Kiev Monastery of Caves, also Kiev Pechers Klavra. The story of this martyr is the following. The Cumans invaded Kiev, robbed and took captive a part of its inhabitants. The captives included both laity and monks of Lavra, and Saint Venerable Monk and Martyr Eustratius was among them. By the way, a small part of his relics is kept here in Orsk, under the altar of the Transfiguration Cathedral. In the Circumpontic region, the Cumans sold their captives as in slavery to a Judaize. One part of the boat people he used as slaves, and the other part, as he hated Christians so much, he decided to torture, so that they disowned Christ. Therefore he put them in prison and started to starve them. Sent venerable monk and martyr Eustratius, who had been a foster during his life in Lavra, inspired our Russian captives. Let us not disown Christ, let us stand to the last. This man won't stop, and we will die anyway. But if we denounce Christ, eternal death will be left to us. And so he inspired everyone, and all the Russian captives were strong. They starved and died one by one. At last, St. Venerable Monk and Martyr Eustratius was the only one left. As being a monk, he was tempered by fast and necessities. He didn't just die, but even more, his body didn't show any sign of weakness. Then, that Judai's torturer decided to aggravate the torture and nailed St. Eustratius to a cross, making him suffer badly like our Lord suffered. He thirsted nails through the martyr's palms and feet. You know, when a man dies on a cross, he doesn't just feel great pain, he dies of a suffocation, as his body is in such position that in order to breathe in just once, he needs to raise himself on his wounded extremities, causing unbearable pain to himself. And so sent venerable monk and martyr Eustratius, after being crucified, started to shed tears. The Judas approached him and said, at last I broke your Christian courage and made you cry. To what St. Eustratius answered, You are a stupid man. I am crying for joy as I am dying like my Lord Jesus Christ. The Judas got furious and said, You want to die like your God, don't you? But I won't let you and in his rage he stabbed the martyr under his right rib with a knife. Without realizing it, he drew a line under the imitation of St. Eustratius' sufferings to the patience of Christ. Why have I retold you the life of this saint in detail? Look in a hopeless situation, a man who doesn't see the providence of God may become desperate, his faith may falter. I dedicated my whole life to you, and where are you now, at this horrible moment? In fact, God with all his might is always by your side, even in the most desperate situations, which we may not understand, misestimate. God may even seem to leave us. In the end, he can turn the most hopeless situation to advantage for eternity. I would like to inspire you. There is plenty of sorrow now, and a special and greater sorrow may come soon. Remember when it seems that it's all lost. At this very point, God stands by your side, 
with all his might, and he can at once turn any desperate situation to good, just as like it happened to Saint Venerable Monk and Martyr Estratius. O Lord, make us strong by his prayers. Sweetest Jesus, save us.